In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this insane masking style video in DaVinci Resolve. The first thing you have to do is add markers to every beat of the song by pressing M. You can download a video with the same song and use it as a reference for better result. Next, position the clips like I do. The lower clip should last till the fifth marker. The second clip starts from the fourth marker and ends on the last one. Copy the second clip by holding Option and dragging up. Right click on the clip and choose Change Clip Speed. Select Freeze Frame. Drag the clip to the first marker and trim the leftovers. Open the freeze frame in the color page. Open the masking window and select the rectangle mask. Go over to transform and adjust the mask like I do. Position the mask so it covers about one-fourth of the frame. Right-click on the node section and choose Add Alpha Output. Connect the line to the output. Go back to the editing page, hold Option and drag the clip to copy it on top. Open it in the color page. Move the mask toward the right. Make sure there isn't a gap between the two masks. Repeat this process until you have four masks and layers. Once that's done, move the clips to the right one marker at a time like this. Cut off the excess by pressing Command and B. Move the fourth freeze frame four to eight frames backwards like so. Compound clip all the freeze frames. Add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Cut it to your desired length and after that open it in Fusion. Press Shift plus Space and search for Camera Shake. Play around with the settings or copy mine. Make a keyframe on the first frame for overall strength. Move about 10 frames forward and turn the strength to zero. Also change edges to mirror. Now we have a simple shake and that's all we need. Press shift plus space again and add directional blur. Adjust the length and angle to your liking. Make a keyframe for length on the first frame Move forward about 10 frames and turn it to zero. Do the same for glow. Select the camera shake node and press Command C to copy it. Now open your mask layers and add the camera shake for each one of them. I'll shorten the keyframes to make it slightly faster. I also decided to play around with the graph, but it really doesn't change anything in a short shake like this. Open Settings, then click on Motion Blur and copy my settings. Copy the node and paste it for the other ones. Next, open one of the freeze frames in the color page, click on the diamond next to the corrector one on the keyframes tab. Adjust the offset to about 70, move 4 frames forward and reset the value. Make sure it creates a keyframe when you reset it. Repeat this process for the other clips.
Let's duplicate the adjustment layer and add it to the beginning. That's basically how you do it, but I'll continue it a little more for the sake of this video. This part works similarly to the first one, so I'll just speed this up for you and play some bangers in the background. That's basically it. 